here in my area and guess what we have today? A watermelon. So let's do this. Let's cut up this watermelon. Sometimes I have to stand because I'm just not that strong. Set this back here. I usually have paper towels down on the table because when I do this, it makes kind of a big mess. Oh, and on my shirt, Cody Jinx, googling, he's pretty good. I have never had a gun on my shirt in all my life. And this is the first shirt I've ever had with a gun on it. I was pretty excited about that. It's pretty bad because it's pretty old. Sitting down. It'll be first because I usually do this standing on a counter when I'm at other people's houses. We'll move this away so you can see what I'm doing. I this is just a cheap kitchen knife, knife safety hat. You just kind of cut along the edges. Make sure you get down in there deep so you can get all the watermelon off. And I will link my video that I made of me cutting, pilling, this pilling grapefruit. So I peeled grapefruit for like the whole day that day because we bought like a whole lot of them. And uh, my son will not peel them himself, but he'll eat them. Check that out. see this lovely mess that I've made. The reason for the paper towel. Again. When I go to people's houses, they're always like, hey, cut the watermelon up for me. And to make sure you got it loose, you know, you can move it around on there to make sure it's all free and I just slice it through make sure it's all the way through and you're just kind of cubing it up super simple lots of cubes Check that out. They're all kind of uniform on the cutting. Nice cubes. If you could see that, look at that. Super simple. All goes in the bucket. my husband was still in here, he could tell you how to pick a good watermelon. There's a science to it or something, I'm not really sure. Where we go grocery shopping, I do it by label. I call it the green label because they have the sweetest watermelon and they're really juicy. This one, eh, I don't know about it yet.
Did I cut it? There you go. Um, I will Google Cody Jinx for you, and if he has YouTube videos, I will link them below. And I will link my um, video of me cutting up a grapefruit, killing a grapefruit fruit. It makes it easy in the morning because then you can just pull your grapefruit out the refrigerator and eat it and be on your way. If you angle your knife kind of into the center of the watermelon because it's rounded. It usually makes it where you can get down in there deep and uh, get it right off the pill. But this is super easy and super fast. And if you got kiddos, you don't have all the mess because you've already cleaned it up. And you can kind of judge on how big your slices are going to be by how long you cut it. But I always try to make them kind of bite sized so that whenever you're having a party, oh, my table decided to pee on the floor. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. We're going to make it through this watermelon with a little mess on the floor. I like silence, so I don't think I could live by an airport. But look at that, a whole watermelon cut up. And it don't take long. Like your first couple watermelons, yeah, it's gonna take you a little while. It's a, a learning experience. Um, and here's the finished product. It's pretty juicy. I don't put salt. I don't put salt on my watermelon. The reason why I'm a whole lot smaller now. But there you have it. How to cut up watermelon and make a big mess on the floor. <laughs> 
if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And I'll catch you next time. Bye!